Hey guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're looking at 5 different bunker methods that you can use in Rust based designs for 2019, all of which are working as of recording this video. These are the main 5 that I use due to ease of use, however I know that there are the other methods out there and some of them are stronger. For number 1 we have the roof door block. This bunker method is easy to build, resistant to fire, has space for a bag inside, but it's somewhat obvious it's a bunker. This bunker method works by blocking access to the doorway. This increases the raid cost by the tier of the roof piece, but it also requires the entrance to be on the second floor of your base. For this method, the entrance needs to be on the second floor of your base. You can use a roof as a staircase. Once the door is raided, the raider then has to go through the sheet roof to progress into the base. Even if they blow the floor below, there isn't space for them to squeeze through, and as long as you have a wall or a door in the middle, they can't shoot out the twig holding the roof. To open the bunker, you simply remove the twig floor supporting the roof, and it disappears. To close it again, simply place the twig down, and then place a roof on the top again to upgrade. If you're worried about people shooting this out, then you can simply upgrade it to wood, however, it should be out of reach in this space. For number two, we have the raised foundation bunker. This bunker method is fairly easy to build, but it's vulnerable to fire. It can hold a bag inside, and it is obvious that it's a bunker. This method works by having raised foundations around the bunker area of your base, with a floor or a wall blocking access, and this will be supported by a twig or wood support. For this method, you can have a fully functional and working base above the bunker for general use, with a fairly large bunker below. Depending on how you build this, you may or may not be able to place a bag inside as they require a large amount of space above them, so make sure you test this when building. If you cannot place a bag inside, you can still have a working bunker simply by leaving enough wood in the tool cupboard to upkeep the twig or wood floor or roof for as long as you will be offline. This means when you log back in, it should decay and grant you access. Again with this method, you can simply remove the twig to gain access and place again to seal it. The main negative of this method is that it is obvious that it's a bunker due to the raised foundations. For number three, we have the roof and stairs block. This bunker method is easy to build, fire resistant, holds a bag inside, but again is obvious that it's a bunker. This bunker method requires a 2x1 space for the roof and stairs, and uses a push through gap, meaning stairs or roof needs to be destroyed to gain access to the base. For this method you need a 2x1 space for the stairs and roof with a sheet double door on each side. These double doors act as a push through for you and they'll push you through the gap which is usually too small to squeeze through. This means that anyone without tool cupboard priv cannot gain access to the base without blowing up the roof or the stairs. And due to the roof sticking outside of the bunker it is fairly obvious that it is a bunker unless you honeycomb. For number 4 we have the roof and shoot block. This bunker method is fairly easy to build, fire resistant, does hold a bag inside and it's not so obvious that it's a bunker. This method works by blocking the entrance with roof pieces which are placed on a twig or wood floor blocking access to the entrance chute. This method is similar to number one and therefore you need the entrance to be on the second floor or higher. You can have an airlock leading to the entrance, which is blocked by the roofs. This means that the raider has to raid through these to gain access to the base, increasing the raid cost by the tier of roof. These roofs are placed on a twig or wood floor below, making it easy to remove or deploy as and when needed. The chute is the entrance, making it difficult to access for raiders. And you can also use an undrainable shotgun trap here to increase the raid cost. Even if they go through walls, it's very high cost, and as you can see here, from each side, it will be at least two sheet walls to get in. And depending on where they go, they may still need to go through the window frame as well. For number five, we have the roof entrance block. This bunker method is easy to build, can be fire resistant, and holds a bag inside. It's not so obvious that it's a bunker. 
This method blocks access with a roof piece supported by a twig or wood foundation inside the base, but it requires uneven terrain to work effectively and be fire resistant. This method is simple and compact, making it easy to disguise. Upon raiding the first two doors of the base, the raider is met with the roof piece, which they then have to blow through as well. You simply remove the twig foundation to remove the roof and repl replace when you want to seal this up. This method is weak against fire unless you build on uneven terrain with the end of the twig foundation just under the ground, making it unreachable by fire. As you can see here, where the roof piece joins up, it's under the terrain and therefore unreachable. I do a number of base building guides on my channel, so feel free to check these out. A number of these include these bunker methods shown in the video. As always, if you did enjoy, be sure to like the video as it really helps out, and don't forget to subscribe with notifications turned on to catch all of my content.